What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of ENA. We got time. As always, I'm your host, Alex. Here are another weekly prediction video. As always, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment your picks below for your chance to win our weekly cash giveaway. We will each and every week uh, during the regular season and during the playoffs, uh, the pot at the pop of the prize will be up. Real quick, before we get into the video, though, I want to give a shout out to uh, Steam and DMAC leading uh, the second annual ENA We Got Time Fantasy Football League. Y'all doing some big things. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Playoffs is coming soon. There's a huge giveaway on that as as long as uh, some team apparel we're going to put together for y'all with uh, my boy Ev over at Facts and Stats. So uh, check him out uh, on Twitter. I think every day at 10 uh, Central or 11 Central. But Facts and Stats on Twitter. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, we ain't gonna waste no time. Giants at Commanders. Uh, Evan Neal, the offensive tackle for the Giants. He's questionable. Dory Jackson's questionable. Uh, the guard, Mark Golowski, he's questionable. Jalen Hyde has a concussion, so I don't know if he's gonna play. And if I'm not mistaken, Tommy DeVito had did an MRI uh, on his shoulder, I believe. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Commanders, from what I saw come to this game, somewhat pretty much fully healthy. Uh, Smith. James Smith has a hamstring issue, but that's it for the most part. Nobody uh nobody on the team really hit the injury report. Uh from what I saw. The commanders they're kinda they're kinda staying above float like floating. They're not really excelling a lot, but they're not declining like the Giants. I, I don't know, I think I, I I don't know what the organization is going on. I I don't like losing, but I understand if we were to lose for whatever reason. But I got Commanders twenty one thirteen. Next we got Steelers at Browns. Uh, Mike Minka the safety he's out. Uh, defensive tackle Adams is questionable. Uh, Quan Alexander has a kid an Achilles issue. He's out for the season. Um, as far as the Browns go. Denzel Ward, uh, he has a neck issue, so he's questionable. And Watson has an ankle, he's questionable, but I'm sure he'll play. Uh, and as far as the Browns go, Juan Thorne, he has a castle, he's questionable. The Browns uh, pulled pulled out a close one last week uh, against the Ravens. Uh, so we'll see uh, how that goes. This is a divisional game against the Steelers. The Steelers, another team, they, you know, they stand above, above water. They, I think they're in the playoffs right now, if I'm not mistaken. But I got the Browns winning this game at home. Uh, that defense is, is really, really, really good. I don't think it'll just be too much. I got Browns 23-17. Cardinals at Houston. Uh, the center for the Cardinals. Uh, I'm, I don't want to put his name. He's questionable. And the running back, Emory. He's questionable. And DJ Humphrey's offensive tackle. He's questionable. For Houston, we got Jimmy Ward, the safety. Uh, he's questionable. And Pierce is questionable as well. Uh, and Henry, I'm not going to butcher his name either. The linebacker, he's also questionable for Houston. Last week, the Cardinals, um, Kyler Murray came back. He, he looked he looked, uh, he looked good for the most part. Uh, first game back, so I didn't expect uh, the world out of him. But he did good. Uh, led the game winning drive, so that was good. They won last week. Houston surprised win to me. I don't know about anybody else. Surprise went over the Bengals last week. Hey, you know, that boy looking real, real good. Offensive rookie of the year. And maybe some other conversations. But we'll get into that. Uh, late. I mean, rookie of the year. I got Houston 27-24. I just got to see Kyler, uh, you know, play some more. Uh, next, we got Titans at Jags. Jalen Burks, he's questionable. Offensive tackle, dang, he's questionable. Sean Murphy Bunting, the uh, cornerback, he's questionable. And the offensive tackle, Andre, he is questionable. As far as the Jags goes, Zay Jones, he's questionable. I'm not going to speak on that whole situation. I haven't done, I ain't did, I ain't did no research on that yet. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on with him. Jamal Agnew, he's questionable with the shoulder. And the safety, uh, I mean, cornerback Tyson Campbell, he's questionable with a hamstring issue. Um, the Jags got, got beat on last week, but hey, look, the 49ers were finally fully healthy after like a month, and they added, uh, you know, Chase Young. So, and the Titans, I, I don't really know what the Titans are doing. This is a get back game for the Jags. I got them winning at home 23 17. 
Next, we got Raiders at Dolphins. Um, Dolphins tackle uh, Colton. He's questionable. Uh, Robertson, he's questionable with concussion. The cornerback um, for the Dolphins, Raheem Mostert, he's questionable. And Warren's questionable with the neck. And Devon uh, should be coming off IR this week. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the Raiders, they, you know, they got five wins, if I'm not mistaken. They they chugging along. They they winning games. Uh, a defense is playing really good, so I think that's helping. They're also not playing exactly up as the mark teams, but hey, a win is a win. It doesn't really matter. Dolphins, high flying offense. Uh, they got some accusations. They can't be the 500 team. Hey, this team I believe is over 500, and I think the Dolphins win this game pretty handily. I got Dolphins 33-17. Uh, next, we got Cowboys at Panthers. Uh, the wide receiver Turpin for the Cowboys says shoulder issue. He's questionable. Um, and that's it. J.C. Horn should be coming off IR, so we'll see how that goes. Vizca Chanel, he's questionable. And uh, wide receiver and CJ Henderson, cornerback, he's questionable. Cowboys beat the brakes off of my team last week. Uh, what is worth? Uh, and, the, and the Panthers, they, uh, they're they just not that good right now. They, they're missing. They need a lot more pieces uh, on that offense and on defense. So the Cowboys do do one thing. If you're not a good team, for the most part, I know they had that debacle with the Cardinals, but if you're not a good team for the most part, the Cowboys, they do handle business. And I think this is going to be just slightly less worse than last week. I got Cowboys 38-14. Next, we got Bears at Lions. Uh, cornerback Terrell, uh, Terrell Smith for the Bears. He's questionable. Jermaine Edmonds, the linebacker, he's questionable. Fields is questionable. And the guard, Nate Davis, is questionable. As far as the Lions go, uh, the guard, I'm not going to butcher his name. He's questionable. And Donovan Peoples-Jones, he's questionable as well. The Lions won a nice shootout last week. They looking good. They look like a top top three, you know, top three, top four seed in the NFC for sure, for sure. One, definitely one of the upper echelon teams in the NFC. The Bears, they're just uh, uh just not that year, uh, to put it lightly. Um, this is a divisional game, so I don't think it's going to be a huge blowout. But I got the Lions winning this game, 24-14. Next, we got Chargers at Packers. Um, Gerald Everett, uh, the tight end, he's questionable with a back issue. Ken Allen's also questionable. And as far as the Packers go, G. Alexander, the cornerback, he's questionable with the shoulder issue. And... Quay Walker, uh, the linebacker, he's questionable with the growing issue. I believe both of these teams lost last week. I know the Chargers lost in a really, really high scoring game last week. I believe the Packers lost at the very end as well, too. Um, both of these teams really, uh, I know a lot of people had them being a lot better than what they are, especially the Chargers. Uh, a lot of people had the Chargers competing. Um, maybe, maybe for that division, the Packers as well, um, even with Jordan Love being this is his first uh, full year starting. So we'll see. Both, I think this is kind of a must win for both if they have any aspirations of, a, of like playoffs or whatever. But I got Chargers 27-24. I just think that it's going to be a little bit better. Um, next, we got Bucks at 49ers. Baker has a thumb issue. He's questionable. Carlton Davis, the cornerback, uh, he's questionable. And the guard, Matt Feeler, he's questionable. For the 49ers, we got offensive tackle Colton. He has an ankle. He's questionable. And Adam Banks, the guard, he's questionable. Uh, the the Bucks are in a, a, a pretty, how do I say? They're in a pretty good spot. They're in, a, they're in a pretty weak division. And if I'm not mistaken, they got a couple winnable games coming up. But this ain't one of them. The 49ers applied major pressure to the Jags and uh, they went out there and handled big business. They're fully healthy. I think another week in that system Chase Young was only going to get better. Who helps Nick Bosa be better? Who helps everybody get better? The 49ers should win this game. Um, I got 49ers 28-20, but I would not be shocked if it's way worse. 
Next, we got Bills at Jets. We got uh, offensive tackle Billy Turner. He's questionable for the Jets. And we got McDonald. Um, he's questionable with ankle. And as for the Bills, Micah Hyde, he is uh, he's questionable. The Jets' defense um, is amazing. It's too bad that offense really just can't put it all together because that – that's really a easily championship defense, uh, possibly Super Bowl defense, uh, with all the things that they can do. The Bills, they fighting for their life. I'm just be completely honest with you. If the Bills do not win this game, there's a lot of people talking, talking crazy about the Bills. They might not make the playoffs. I'm just be completely honest. That season don't get no easier. So this is a must-win game, and it's a divisional game. So. I always should get up for that. I got Bills 28-17. We'll see if Josh Allen can return the form. Next, we got Seahawks at Rams. Pretty, pretty small slate uh, as far as injury reports. So that's always good. Anthony Bradford for the Seahawks. The guard, he's questionable. And for the Rams, Matt Stafford, he has a thumb issue. He's questionable. The Rams are a lot better than what a lot of people thought they were going to be this year, including myself. Seattle's probably about what a lot of people thought they would be. Maybe a little, not as good, but they're still moving on. I still think they made the playoffs. Uh, I think Seattle wins this game, even though it's in LA. Like I said, they're fighting for a playoff spot. The 49ers went on that skid. If they really want to try and, you know what I'm saying, get back and get that division. It's got to start with this game, divisional game. So. Those always count almost like double the points in a sense. Um, I got Seahawks winning this game 23-20. This is kind of like a must-win game for me for the Seahawks. Next, we got Vikings at Denver. Uh, Jordan Hicks, the linebacker, he's questionable. Alexander Madison, he's questionable with concussion. And K.J. Osborne, he's, uh, he's questionable. Hopefully, he gets back pretty soon. As for Denver, uh, the safety P.J., um, Lockie, he's questionable. Josh Dobbs is they they need a they need to make a movie on the season he's having. It's incredible. Um Russ also not playing too too bad of, of football right now. He's not turning the ball over. Now he's taking a lot of sacks. So that maybe he's sacrificing his body for, you know, to, to not throw as many picks or whatever the case is. But he's playing some some real good game managing football. But I got Vikings uh, winning this game. I think the Vikings are still slightly better than Denver. I got Vikings 21-17. And the game everybody's been waiting for, which a lot of people think will be game of the week. Uh, Eagles at Chiefs. Uh, for the injury report, pretty small. Bradley Roby, questionable. And Clyde edwards Teller, questionable. This game right here could... I mean, this is a Super Bowl rematch, obviously, but a lot of people think this could this could be the Super Bowl again this year. Highly unlikely. I don't think two teams have ever met in the Super Bowl two years in a row. It's possible, but I, I just can't recall the top of my head, so forgive me for that. Uh, the Eagles are going to the Chiefs. It's going to be hard to win an arrowhead. Man, uh, if this game was flipped, Chiefs at Eagles, I'd probably go Eagles, but I got Chiefs 27-24. I think they do just enough to win this game with the home field advantage. And that's it, y'all. That's the games of the week. Appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, watching these videos week after week. Really appreciate that from the, from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And y'all enjoy, you know, the rest of y'all week. Hopefully, hopefully uh, it goes good for you and y'all teams. As always, I'm your host, Alex. This is ENA. We got time. I'm out. Peace.